Well, Thursday, the NFL takes center stage in the city once again. It's the return of the annual scouting combine. Some of the best and brightest trying to convince the NFL GMs that they're the ones to, to pick on draft day. IU senior Nick Polk will be among them. And the quarterback already has an eye for a Super Bowl, thanks to a former teammate. It's one of the signature plays of Super Bowl 44. And it's Tracy Porter taking it all the way. And in Central Indiana, not too many sat and cheered the moment, but Nick Polk did. <laughs> it was, you know, it was unspeakable. I couldn't even, I couldn't even fathom me being in that position. But Polk's goal is to be there soon. IU Senior is one of Tracy Porter's best friends. The two played in Bloomington together. Is he inspiring at all to see what he could do? Oh, he's very inspiring, you know, just coming from IU himself and, you know, him being, you know, sitting on the couch with him, just playing video games and, you know, him being a normal person and, you know, some, somebody that I can, I can look up to every day and, you know, just get advice from. And that advice has taken him to St. Vincent Sports Performance, where Porter himself worked out leading into the NFL Combine. Here, training is serious business for a game they love. I felt like when I first got here, I worked so many muscles that I haven't worked before. And, you know, there's so many different things that, you know, that has changed for me. They're already football players. Right. Now they've got to be really good athletes on that particular day when they test. And so it's a different type of training than perhaps they've ever done in their life. And so that's why we get comments like, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know that muscle existed. I didn't know I could be that sore. And for Polk, perhaps more pain means more gain. He's seen it happen before. He'd like to see it happen again. You could be like Tracy, a couple years away from winning the Super Bowl here, you know. Uh, hopefully I will be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the process and everything and, and getting a chance to, to maybe be in the Super Bowl in a couple years like Tracy. NFL coaches and GMs arrive this week. The combine itself begins on Thursday. Coverage throughout the week for you here on RTV6. And the NFL Combine is underway at Lucas Oil Stadium. Orientations and interviews began today. Workouts begin Friday. But Ball State's Brandon Crawford will not be among them. We've done several stories on Brandon. He's a former Marine who's now 33 years old, had a really nice career at Ball State, but he wasn't invited to the Combine. He's hoping to show that he's worthy of being drafted when the school holds its own pro day in a few weeks. I believe if you turn on the tape and turn on the film and watch me play, you know, from that standpoint, I mean, everybody thinks about the age. I don't. I've never have. Um, I've only been playing four years. I mean, the guys my age have been playing longer, you know, than I have. Their body has been taking. You feel like you're 33? No, I don't. I mean, I, to me, I'm like, how are you supposed to feel at that age? I mean, I feel good. <laughs> He does. He looks good, too. For 33. For, well, no, are you kidding me? 33 for is the new 23. We caught up with the St. Vincent uh, Sports Performance. Looks good. I yeah. Think. Good luck to Brandon. We'll be right back. Meanwhile, it's the return of the annual NFL Scouting Combine. All the NFL coaches and GMs converge on the city. Draft workouts begin tomorrow. In addition, the league is meeting with the Players Association trying to work out a new collective bargaining agreement. So a busy, important 